Motorists have been burdened by continuous oil price hikes that have lasted for two months now. This is after another increase took effect for the eighth straight week today. Gasoline prices have gone up on Tuesday by up to 1 peso and 80 centavos, diesel by 1 peso and 50 centavos, and kerosene by 1 peso and 30 centavos. This brought a net increase of almost 20 pesos and 18 pesos for gasoline and diesel since the start of the year. Kerosene, meanwhile, saw a more than 15 peso increase. Some economists expect the uptrend to continue for the rest of 2021, with prices seen to normalize by the end of first quarter next year. The hike is brought by tightness in supply as demand slowly rebounds with major global economies opening up again amid the pandemic. The nearby winter season is also expected to affect the demand. Yung supply na meron tayo bago pa yung um, pag-angat ng mga ekonomiya ng mga advanced economies. Eh, ganun pa rin yung level ng supply. Tricycle and jeepney drivers see higher pump prices eating more into their daily income. Adding to the burden is the limited passenger capacity imposed as part of safety protocol. Yung ginigita namin na inuwi 300, dalawang daan na lang. Wala na hong ano, pambigas na lang. Ah, ilang kilo lang. Halos wala na kami ginigita. Pinakabal lang namin mga boundary, pang crudo, yan lang naman. Economists say more consumers might feel the impact of higher oil prices by December due to its effect on basic commodities such as food and manufactured products. Probably will 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 feel it yan mga towards the end of the year, towards the first of December. Uh, I think with the reopening and with the um holiday, holiday spending, you know. And uh, andyan na rin yung election, so yung mga potential spending. The Transportation Department is now pushing for fuel subsidies and other discounts to help UV drivers. This is in lieu of the fare hike petition being pushed by transport groups to offset rising fuel costs. Shaila Francisco, VR1 News.